Breaking news leaves has just been revealed, taking everyone by surprise. Our journalists have managed to obtain this valuable information. However, before we discuss the details of the news, I kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel, aiming to soon surpass the number of subscribers of Canadians. With everyone's cooperation, we aim to become the leading news channel. The Toronto Maple Leafs have participated in, and regrettably lost, two preseason games thus far. While the team that bested them may find it exhilarating, the Toronto Maple Leafs have been in existence long enough to understand that the outcomes of preseason games hold no significance. It's all about the developmental process. And up to this point, things have been promising. In the initial game, the Leafs fielded a rather lackluster lineup, yet they came close to clinching a victory. Notably, Nylander appears to be adapting well to the center position, Matthews is actively engaged in penalty-killing duties, Easton Cowan is gaining attention, Topi Niemela is poised to make an impression, and Noah Gregor sounds like he's making a strong case for a roster spot. We momentarily interrupt the news to share a crucial announcement. We want to emphasize that if you want to continue receiving the latest updates through YouTube recommendations, it is of utmost importance that you leave your like on this video. Thank you in advance. We will now return to the ongoing news. Of course, these assessments are based on just two non-counting games, and the rosters were unevenly matched, so one should take them with a grain of salt. Ultimately, this Leafs season will revolve around players stepping up and earning their positions. The core is established, but most other spots on the team are up for grabs if someone seizes the opportunity. Indeed, Klingberg and Giordano will initially receive opportunities in the lineup, but it won't be long before Topi Niemela forces his way onto the team or the Leafs trade Liljegren to create room for him. Speaking of trades, one is looming on the horizon. Toronto Maple Leafs, a trade is on the horizon. The new GM of the Toronto Maple Leafs has yet to execute a trade, but it's safe to say he's eager to make one. William Nylander, currently earning $6 million, is seeking more than $10 million, and the team lacks a legitimate number one NHL defenseman. It would be peculiar if they didn't leverage their strengths to address their weaknesses, as that is essentially the primary purpose of trades. However, it would be surprising if a major trade occurred during training camp. More likely, the team will take action when they experience a four-game losing streak and wonder why opposing teams are effortlessly penetrating their vulnerable blue line, akin to a scene from a samurai movie with 100 henchmen. The impending Leafs trade will involve significant cost-cutting to bring the team under the salary cap and provide greater roster flexibility. Kaye Jarncroft doesn't offer anything that Alex Steves or Nick Aberziz can't provide. The team needs to shed $3 million, although $800,000 will be saved when they send Martin Jones to the minors. Replacing Jarncroft on the roster with a league minimum salary player would save $1.3 million. This would leave the Leafs with just $900,000 left to clear. Once you're under a million, it becomes relatively straightforward because, with the AHL team in Toronto, you can often get by with just two extra players instead of three. If they wanted a full roster, replacing Lafferty and Timmons with two minimum salary players would bring them well below the cap. All in all, trading Jarncroft and Liljegren for picks that the Leafs can utilize later appears to be a prudent move as they approach the new season. What's up, fans, how are you interpreting this news? Do you feel an agreement or do you have a dissenting perspective? Leave your analysis in the comments area. This feedback is of great importance for our beloved team to understand your opinion. Stay tuned, as I will be back with more information at any moment.